The MIDI Association is the global nonprofit 501c6 trade organization that connects the companies who develop MIDI products and new MIDI specifications with all the people around the world that create music and art with MIDI. Our corporate members include OS companies like Apple, Google, and Microsoft, DAW and notation software companies including Ableton, Avid, Bitwig, Steinberg, a whole range of, of different DAW companies. And of course, also software companies like Native Instruments, Spectrasonics, Arturia, Juice, uh, as well as hardware companies like uh, Roland, Yamaha, Korg, Focusrite, and Moog. In addition to our corporate members, we have special interest groups. A special interest group is a community with a shared interest in advancing a specific area of knowledge, learning, or technology. We have three special interest groups that are active right now. The Interactive Audio Special Interest Group, which focuses on the game audio community. The MIDI in Music Education Special Interest Group, which is working on giving away a curriculum uh, under Creative Commons license. And our newest and we think most important special interest group, uh, which is the Special Interest Group on Music Accessibility. The Music Accessibility Standard Special Interest Group is led by Yuho Tamanian and other sight-impaired musicians and producers, as well as contributions from Native Instruments, Arturia, Audio Modeling, Roland, and many others. We meet bi-weekly and are looking for more companies to join the drive to make music more accessible to all. Okay, uh, I'm Juho Domenen and I would like to tell you about my history in music. So I started the music journey by uh, studying the theory and practice of piano playing and classical 80s from church to postmodern classical music at the Soisala Music Institute. And then I started dealing with the digital audio workstations like Reaper and keyboards like Motif XF7. And the biggest challenge was that there was no screen reader, so as a blind person I couldn't know where I was on the menu and uh, um, what I instrument was selected and then the idea of, idea of music accessibility standard was formed and then in April 2023 we formed the music accessibility St standard special interest group whose chair I am and our main goal is to uh, improve software and hardware accessibility for people with disabilities. It's a really nice thing. Here are the bullet points for MIDI 2.0. And later on at the Audio Developers Conference, uh, there'll be a MIDI 2.0 seminar. But what we'd like to focus on is making uh, MIDI easier to use with MIDI 2.0 and how that relates to the music accessibility standard. The most important thing about MIDI 2.0 is that it makes MIDI easier to use. And how does it do that? MIDI 2.0 changes MIDI from a monologue to a dialogue. New MIDI 2.0 products can talk to each other, discover their mutual capabilities, and auto-configure themselves. MIDI 2.0 works harder, so you don't have to. One of the three P's of MIDI 2.0 is profile negotiation. A profile are a defined set of rules for how a MIDI device sends or is it responds to a specific set of MIDI messages to achieve a specific purpose or suit a specific application. For example, be a piano, use MPE, respond to orchestral articulation messages. But what we'd like to focus on is developing a profile to enable accessibility for people with different accessibility challenges. We'd like to invite you to join the Music Accessibility Standard Special Interest Group. You can do so with the link below or by putting your camera on the QR code, which will take you directly to the form to enroll by indicating your interest in one of the MIDI Association's initiatives.